there's probably a long history of this, a long pattern, and Will Smith knows exactly what that means, you know? Yeah. And if he doesn't correct it, if he doesn't stand up for her, he's gonna suffer. The situation with Will Smith, mm -hmm. right? So mm -hmm. this is, I mean, this is kind of a huge thing. Yes. And there were several different points of view and perspective that came from this. I'm gonna give you my theory, and I don't sure. know this to be a fact, but because we talk so much about TRT and testosterone on the show, uh, Will Smith is significantly older than me, okay? Mm -hmm. He's in his 50s, and he mm -hmm. looks fantastic. I think yes. we can all agree yeah. he looks fantastic. I think he's on something. I'm just speculating. Like The Rock, I know The Rock is on something. It's pretty clear. But like some of these other guys, and I think if, if he is, it, he sounded to me like a dude who's taken tests and no estrogen blocker. And mm -hmm. the reason why I, I keep my wife's name out of your fucking mouth like that. <laughs> his voice is breaking. You hear his voice breaking. He sounds like a dude not taking an acetol. Like he, he sounds like a guy who's loaded up on tests and his estrogen levels are super high. Just a theory. I absolutely have no idea. Can't diagnose it. He just looks like the dudes who like take basketball too seriously or want to fight over the bench press at the gym. He looked like that to me mm -hmm. where he lost it. Right. And then the, the things that were obvious were he's laughing at the joke, looks at his wife, no approval. Keep my wife's name out of your mouth. All of a sudden that changes mm -hmm. because he's not getting his, his wife's approval. Very Stockholm syndrome looking. -ish. Exactly. What, You're what, hitting did you, it. what did okay. you think about it? I think we have to take a look at Jada in order to explain Wolf Smith's behavior and why he may have responded that way. I really can't possibly give your audience all of that information right now. However, I will say that from what I have seen and interviews that I have watched, and I, again, I'm not diagnosing anybody, but Jada presents with very strong narcissistic traits, okay? I see a lot of triangulation with her. I see a lot of cognitive empathy. I've heard a lot of stories where he does something very nice and she devalues that, like her 40th birthday. He did, had like a whole three day or seven day extravaganza and she wouldn't even attend. You know, you see the triangulation with Tupac in August, you know, like there's always somebody in the mix where she's, you know, de devaluing him and, and this was his night. Yeah. Which I find very interesting. This is this is something that where he is being honored for and he is being praised for and that threatens a narcissist control. Right. It threatens it. And so what does she have to do? And she doesn't know what she is. She has no idea. Yeah. Right. But sub subconsciously, her narcissism is like, well, I need that. Yeah. This can't be about him. This has to be about me. It's even more so because they're in the same profession. I want you to think about it, right? Well, he's greater than her, right? Well, like that, he's, that's, And that's going to threaten her narcissism. She was, if you go back to like the late 90s, mm -hmm. Jada Pinkett's in the top five, bro. It's like Vivica Fox, Jada Pinkett, uh, Halle Berry. Like she's up there, right? And she, and so with a lot of those actresses, they have a, an opportunity like Selma Hayek did uh, where you have a chance to act. If you, if you can make this mother work, you are going to end up like Scarlett Johansson happens to be a fantastic actress. And she's also very, very attractive. Right. And so Jada, it never hit for her. She never got the thing that how where Halle Berry, she knocked it out of the park. Halle Berry is a world renowned uh, Academy Award winning actress. Jada Pickett was a pretty face. And what happened with Will is that Will kept going up. Will, it's not just that it's not just that Will got that respect. It's that Will got the respect that Jada always wanted. I mm -hmm. think the fact that they're in the, not a similar profession, the exact same profession, I think has a part to do with this as well. Uh, well, you're 100% correct. Absolutely. I will say this. It won't matter what profession they're in. That right. that actually isn't relevant. But because they're in the same profession, it, it throws salt on the wound. Yeah. Okay. So if we go back to that night, threatens her sense of control. So she, again, is she's going to have to do something to regain that control. And she is doing this on a subconscious level because she does not know what she is. She doesn't know what's going on. And so what happens, you know, he cracks a joke at her and then she gives the look of disapproval. There's probably a long history of this, a long pattern. And Will Smith knows exactly what that means, you know, yeah. and if he doesn't correct it, if he doesn't stand up for her, he's going to suffer. Yeah. Right. And there's probably a huge history of that. So he knew subconsciously, again, he's not doing this consciously. He knew he's like, well, if I don't do something, I'm going to suffer. Suffer. I'm gonna, I'm suffer, gonna yeah. it's the devaluation phase for him is gonna start. Mm -hmm. So he has to he has to act. So he's like he mm, 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 my wife's name mm, mm, mm. and then she sits back and she's just you know stoic and victimized and you know and she didn't even like praise her husband or anything you know and I mean she's just like yeah. 
I willing to bet you she texts some other guy right after that happened, talking can, about how how annoying an, she is with how annoying she is with her husband. You know what else is really interesting after that? Explaining his behavior and and why he did that. Uh, I think it's a it's more of a trauma response than anything because I think he's a highly empathic individual. Actually, I don't think that he's your average Joe. I think he's highly empathic, and even empathic people have moments where they're extremely reactive. Again, there's probably some PTSD because when you have prolonged exposure to a narcissist, you're going to have some PTSD. Okay, and people with PTSD can be really reactive and really responsive and he's got to do this to protect himself because my god if he doesn't he's got to go home to that you know and you can even see afterwards like there's a moment on the red carpet um where she changed outfits yeah. you know and i'm like god damn uh, and again it to me the way i interpret that is a, another way to draw attention to and here he is, they're, they're with their whole family and they're trying to present as a united front and the family leaves, you know, the family leaves and they're, you know, taking picture, going down the roll and she stays Yeah. again to regain control. And she even goes, yeah, because she wasn't done yet. I mean, no. it just shows, you know, and then he, sure enough, he comes back like a good little boy. You know, it, it just you see these dynamics. That's a narcissistic dynamic. I was watching this like red top red table talk that she does. Right. <sighs> Gag me. And my, oh God, that stuff's want to throw up. It's so ridiculous. Are you talking about when she had Will? They just they just act. She acts so woke. And I'm like, but you're not, though. Anyway, um, there was a moment where they were talking about her entanglement. Again, this is blame shifting. This is escaping accountability, narcissistic traits, guys. Okay. And she won't even call it what it is. She's not taking ownership but, but, of her but let's, behavior. But let's also say this. Will isn't calling it what it is either. Well, Will, he's not. But, I'll says, but I, he's doing that for a different reason. Yeah. He's doing that because if he calls it what it is, it's going to threaten her sense of control and he's going to get it again. Yeah. Okay. And also, he doesn't call it what it is because... Uh, he's trying to regain a sense of power and control as well. Yeah. And that's another dynamic that's happening here. He's trying to act like my wife doesn't run the show here. We uh, we had like, uh, like I was for this as well. It is a really weird dynamic with that whole situation. So first off, he's using comedy. If you guys back and watch the Red Table thing, when he's being interviewed by his wife, he is uh, using comedy to deflect. And he goes, I was through with your ass. And like, no, you yes, weren't. Yes, that's you what weren't. I wanted to refer to. <laughs> you, you, weren't, you weren't through with her. You're still with her today. You had kids with her. And you're like, that, that was the part. Like I, I want to like in this case with the Johnny Depp situation, I don't know the whole the function of this. I'm not going to marry a woman who is going to express her undying love for Tupac. I'm just not. I'm like, like, I'm not. You've made this a little too public. I need you to be mine and I need this to be te a team. Mm -hmm. This is not a team. This is me. Again, I don't know Kanye West personally. I think Kanye West, when he wasn't famous, the hottest woman in the world to him was Kim Kardashian. And when he got famous, he got a chance to date the, the, the biggest crush of his life, not given two tenths shit about what the rest of it was like and then kim kardashian was like how can i remain relevant well i can remain relevant by dating one of the biggest producers in the world i don't care that he has a mental disorder it doesn't make any difference to me mm -hmm. so i'm just going to go ahead and date him and i think kim is like well how can i continue to remain, remain relevant who is the person that would upset the world the most for me to date pete davidson so let me just date him because it doesn't make any sense and then we'll just see how how much news i can churn up so that me in my 40s i can maintain some level of relevancy that's what i see but it, you know in the situation with this i do put some blame on will smith not blame but more of a situation I, I don't know if you're aware of this so will smith has a biography and so does chris rock in the case of will smith he, when he was nine years old he watched his mother be severely beaten by his father he talks about the powerlessness mm -hmm. and we can you can only imagine the level of ptsd and how maybe he's projecting yeah. that in his current relationship but the same thing with chris rock he was being bullied severely he's a smaller kid and you, you there's a show remember chris rock with the i forgot the name of the tv show where he's he's playing himself as a kid or he writes it he produces himself as a kid and in the show like he's being severely bullied also which which is why he has such a great sense of humor, but he ended up bringing some rock to school or brick and ended up putting a kid in the hospital. Mm. And since then sort of detests violence from that point on. And you see both of those pathologies. Is that why they call him Chris Rock? Maybe, that could be it, that's <laughs> funny. Uh, but that you could kind of see both of those pathologies paying out, playing out. Yeah, you can look like he's he's he doesn't want to repeat the behavior of his father, right? He also has this Captain Sabaho complex. Yeah. So it's just kind of like, oh, I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna be the defender of my family, but it's just like, he's going in blind. To what are you defending though? Like, you know, he's just very, um, he just doubles down. Yeah, that is pretty crazy. 
I expected more two-sided belief of this, but it really, like most people did agree that Jada was abusive towards him. And I, I didn't think a lot of people would see that. You know, I didn't, I didn't either. Yeah. I thought a lot of people would really villainize Will after something so aggressive because yeah. his behavior was completely inappropriate, yeah. right? Absolutely. And it's, it is abusive to do that. Um, but I think that there, look, I'm, and I'm in no way excusing that behavior or saying that that's okay, but I think that we do need to take a look at what could have why he did that 